Another school threat lands a student behind bars. The latest happening against Phillips Preparatory School on Old Shell Road in Mobile. News 5's J.B. Buno joins us now live from Mobile Police Headquarters. And J.B., this threat surfaced on social media. Yeah, Roseanne, we just spoke to the head of cyber intelligence here at Mobile Police Headquarters, and they say that the threat was originally made on Instagram more than a week ago, but then it began circulating on Snapchat over the last few days, and that's when we had the arrest early this morning at Phillips Prep School. Take a look here at the video. Really quiet when we arrived there on the scene earlier this morning, but it was a little bit before this that Mobile Police had made the arrest of a student at Phillips Prep. We're told that the threat was was made specifically against the school itself, and it was serious enough for Mobile Police to arrest the unknown student who is now in custody. The status of the student as a minor prevents us from knowing their identity or the charges filed against him or her. But Mobile Police taking all threats made on social media extremely seriously. And here in this building behind me, the Cyber Intelligence Unit is watching closely for what's going on with students on social media. Actually, it was a post that was uh, recirculated from uh, a few days back or even a week or so ago, um, and it recirculated, which is one of the biggest trends we're seeing, that uh, these threats are, instead of being immediately reported, are being recirculated amongst other students, which causes panic at times and also alarm. Um, and it also is an example of how an old threat from, from days or weeks ago can actually resurface and have the same uh, negative effect. Um, now, Commander Levy... Now, Commander Levy says that a lot of times that these threats are made as, you know, just jokes or pranks and that the students, when confronted about them, they say that they never in intended any harm. But Mobile Police, the Cyber Intelligence Unit, other investigative agencies here on the Gulf Coast, they take all these threats seriously and they urge anyone out there that sees a threat like this on social media to immediately contact local police. Reporting live at Mobile Police Headquarters, J.B. Buno, News 5.